In this module, we will look at the frequency spectrum and the meaning of the word bandwidth. What is a frequency spectrum? Frequency spectrum signifies the variation in frequencies that can be used for the transmission of information. There is a spectrum of frequencies that are available to transmit information. Of course, at the very low end, we have the voice that we talk that comes to you as I say this to you. It is um, uh, in kilohertz uh, and uh, voice can propagate in many directions. Uh, voice signals uh, basically travel by vibrating the air that is uh, in front of you, the air molecules and so on. Incidentally, voice cannot travel through vacuum as we all know. Voice is at the very low end of the frequency spectrum, meaning that our voice communication takes place at very low frequency levels. As we go further, we encounter higher frequencies. Somewhere here we look at uh, radio frequency that is used for transmitting uh, the radio signals that you receive in your radio. Uh, we have uh, several bands. Uh, the lower bands are known as, for example, the uh, AM bands, and as we go further, uh, we look at the FM bands that operate at a higher frequency. Uh, one more time, frequency is measured uh, in hertz, cycles per second. So at, in this range, we are looking at frequencies that range in the megahertz. As we go further in the frequency spectrum, uh, we have microwave communication and later on we have satellite transmission and so on. As we go further and further higher in this direction, we will encounter frequencies that measure in gigahertz. One of the things that we need to bear in mind is that as the frequencies increase, the uh, propagation follows the law of light, meaning that it will only go along a straight line. For this reason, both microwave transmission and satellite transmission, they need to have line of sight to communicate with one another. In other words, one might see a microwave tower in this uh, setup another microwave tower, it is important to have line of sight between these two microwave sites so that the microwave signals can be transmitted and received. Why is this so? This is so because microwave travels in a straight line. Uh, as we go further in the frequency spectrum, the signals that are used at the higher end uh, travel along a straight line. So there are a range of frequencies that are available for transmission of information. Now comes the problem. What, what are the problems? Number one, uh, within the radio frequency or the bandwidth where the radio frequencies are available, uh, who controls the use of these frequencies? That is controlled by the FCC, uh, Federal Communication Commission, so that not everyone can use the same frequency. These frequencies are auctioned and they are licensed to different users. A radio station that wants to transmit information, this radio station, must get, get one frequency, say 102.7, uh, it must have the right to transmit in this frequency. In order to do that, it must also pay the FCC a license fee every year to use this frequency. And uh, a whole range of frequencies are usually reserved for military purpose. Some years ago, at the end of the Cold War, some of these frequencies were made available for civilian use. That is where we saw the explosive uh, growth and int introduction and growth of things like cellular phones and uh, wireless LAN communications and so on. Uh, these frequencies were made available for civilian use and the companies bought the right to use uh, these frequencies. And some of these frequencies were reserved for land communication, etc. So companies that made this product, uh, they had to use uh, a specif specifically designated set of uh, frequencies for that purpose. It is also interesting to note that from time to time, the Federal Communication Commission or the FCC uh, auctions the frequencies and there are a very limited set of frequencies that are reserved uh, to be bought by civilians at a very low uh, price and these uh, frequencies are usually given out based on a lottery system. But in general most of the frequency ranges are uh, licensed to major companies or uh, radio stage station owners uh, etc. so that they could use these frequencies for communication. Uh, 